we can pretty much agree that mosquitoes are the most annoying things on earth. The only purpose they serve is to annoy me and by trying to get into my ear when I'm trying to sleep. Any normal person will go ahead and just hide under the blanket and wait till the mosquito goes away, but you already know how hot it is when you're under the blankets, man. A boy not trying to get a heat stroke out here. But then there came shark cards and then everything changed. The mosquito situation has been totally eliminated because Rockstar's greed has got the best of them and now I, I can pretty much agree those prices for the cars and everything else in Grand Theft Auto 5 is something that I truly despise and shark cards being advertised and selling everywhere is something that I don't really like man. But that's just me. Who knows maybe people like buying shark cards and wasting their cash on one car. But anywho, I want to tell you guys the most annoying things that bother me in Grand Theft Auto Online. Alright, so before we actually do get started guys, let's go ahead and play a quick little game. Leave a like on the video right now and I want you to go ahead and check the number of likes. The last digit means exactly which one of these is going to happen to you tomorrow. So if you guys want to go ahead and know exactly what type of luck you're going to have tomorrow, make sure you guys do it and let me know down below in the comments on what you got. You know, for a game that's rated 17 and plus, why are there more little kids talking on the mics than grown ass adults? I truly cannot comprehend this. You have pink joggers, the fuck? You can't be calling me pink when I'm wearing orange, you fucking colorblind dumbass bitch. <laughs> Dude, I wasn't even oh calling him. How did I kill him? If you people actually go ahead and play the game, I'm pretty sure you run into all these little squeakers that just go ahead and kill you for no reason, or they just go ahead and shit talk all they want throughout the mic in the lobby, and it's very, very annoying. Some of them are just talking, and they have their background on, and you can just hear their mom scream at them, and the TV in the background with all the music and all that type of stuff. I don't really want to go ahead and hear this, and it happens so often that it just very, very annoys me, and I just don't like going through the trouble of going through like six or seven screens in the main menu just to go ahead and mute them. It's very, very annoying. You know, for a guy like myself who uploads Grand Theft Auto 5 videos every single day on here, I I don't really play GTA Online that often and the biggest reasons why I don't really do this is the fact that we have random people out here that just go out their way just to kill me for no reason whatsoever like I'm literally just doing nothing minding my own business just doing some random driving and I just get killed and it's just very very annoying I'm pretty sure this happened to the loads of you guys where you're just doing your own stuff minding your own business and then you have this one guy who's all the way across the map with a freaking jet or helicopter and they just want to go ahead and blow up your car it's very very annoying and it's something that very very easily makes me want to go ahead and turn off my console oh looky looky a brand new dlc oh my god i am very very excited let's go ahead and check out all the brand new stuff that rockstar has introduced to the game but god damn it those prices are absolutely killing me so you know what we gotta go ahead and do boys buy some shark cards but unfortunately this cool cat right here is just gonna resort into looking for some uh you know some money glitches on youtube man you know you feel me boys holy crap rockstar why is there so many freaking loading screens like oh my god you gotta go for a loading screen to do races you gotta do a loading screen for heist you gotta do a loading screen to enter a lobby every single time there's loading screens everywhere but if you're just like everyone else who owns a console then that's something that you just need to genuinely just accept the freaking cops man I don't know what they're putting in those donuts and coffee. I have no idea why these guys are so, so troubling to get rid of, but it, it just is. The awkward moment when you need Lester for the second time in under one minute after you just called them. Don't you just love it when Rockstar blesses our little hearts with some brand new content in the game? I myself am a huge fan of the brand new vehicles they always introduce with every single brand new big DLC, but the biggest problem that I have every single time they do this are the ridiculous prices on the vehicles they go ahead and set up on now i understand that they're a company and they need to do stuff like this in order for they can get people like you guys to purchase shark cards due to how freaking high the prices are but like honestly if you do things like this it just it just makes me want to go ahead and 
do some money glitches, man. All right, picture this. You know, you're stranded, not many cars around the neighborhood, and you gotta pick up something real quick. Now, you go ahead, find the random car that you find, and you get in it, and boom, there you go. You get some wanted stars on you, even though you truly didn't wanna help Simeon in delivering this car. Now, this is something that 100% aggravates me a lot i mean you know you're just doing your thing getting in random cars and then you just get some wanted stars and it's very very annoying i really don't understand why rockstar keeps this i mean i'll understand for those low level people out there but if you pass a certain level let's say 50 then is getting like an extra what ten thousand dollars from delivering the cars actually worth it rockstar really shouldn't keep pestering us with these little mini game missions of car deliveries and all that type of stuff if you're surpassed a certain level or you have a certain amount of money in your bank account which of course why would you need that extra ten thousand dollars to deliver the car i just truly wish rockstar will remove this feature from high level people or people with a bunch of cash because honestly this is something that very very easily annoys me and i don't like dealing with the cops you guys already know how fucking hard it is to escape from them i don't need another reason to fucking throw my controller across the floor god damn it you're playing grand theft auto you're doing your thing you're in your warehouse you're making all this money but every single time you're trying to do your own thing you get constant phone calls from very very annoying people now one of them being ljt god damn it this guy god damn Damn it, this guy right here with the constant phone calls non-stop. Like, honestly, every single time you play, he's always calling you. And I got to say, it's very, very annoying. Now, the same thing can be said about the assistant. I just got out of my office. Like, this lady just called me once again out of my office. Literally just seen her about... 20 seconds ago and she's calling me once again and this happens every single day i play something that very very annoys me and pretty sure annoys you guys but why do we gotta keep dealing with this stuff i just wish there's a button where i can just mute these people forever but unfortunately there's not and hopefully they'll update this because this is very very annoying man now i wouldn't say there's a lot of methods to actually make some good cash in grand theft auto 5 but one of the funnest ways is to actually set up a heist mission now the problem with this is the fact that getting a lobby that's actually decent with good players is very very hard to actually come through with now one of the biggest problems is the fact that after you've been waiting in this lobby for about five minutes and you got your party set up one of the people leave and then after that the second person leaves and then the third person leaves and there you go again you lost so much freaking time in waiting for these people now you got to go ahead and repeat the process i have no idea why this happens so often maybe because people are just tired of playing heist or maybe their freaking pizza rolls are ready downstairs and their parents need them there asap but a way for rockstar to actually fix this little problem is issue a bill for every single time these people leave now let's just say for example if the party's already set up and it's about to begin if the people leave then go ahead and issue them i don't know a hundred thousand dollars bill to their account that will go ahead and be automatically taken away from their game this will go ahead and stop people from actually leaving and wasting other people's times because goddamn i can never find a goddamn freaking party to play heist with me man now something that i truly don't understand is how is a company as big as rockstar that made so much freaking money from gta 5 and as well as the shark cards how are you gonna go ahead and not i don't know fix the npc stupidity in the game like they honestly go ahead and try to kill you they crash into all of us and they just are very very stupid like holy crap you guys need to work on the ai god damn it you can just run circles around them and they'll be truly truly freaking stupid like i don't know if you guys actually pay attention but if you honestly just go ahead and just stare into one of them for long enough i'm pretty sure they'll do something quite something like this man it's it's very sad rockstar fix the npcs they are truly 
need some reworking and I just hope that Rockstar will pick this up and fix this because I'm tired of being run over by stupid NPCs when I'm just doing absolutely nothing man oh my god so that pretty much settles the video and I hope all of you beautiful people enjoyed if you did support it by dropping that blue thumbs up it'll be ever so much appreciative and as well subscribe to my channel if you guys are new see you guys later peace out and stay safe everybody